Um, there's a, psychiatry has a uh, diagnostic and statistical manual that we use to characterize various kinds of psychiatric disorders. And so people have to fall into certain criteria within that manual. For example, uh, restricted eating, body image distortion, uh, within certain parameters. So that's how uh, we officially kind of diagnose it. But it, as a group, these tend to be people that see themselves as being too fat and lose an extreme amount of weight, becoming uh, emaciated. Uh, very similar, there's, there's uh, specific criteria that have to do with uh, the amount that people binge followed by some kind of compensatory behavior, usually uh, purging as well as body image distortions. Um, you know, there's a kind of simplistic kind of uh, overview of it. Binging disorder is somewhat similar, somewhat different. Um, just in terms of the group that it affects um, and it's, it tends to be people that are often somewhat overweight to begin who overeat, uh, usually don't have the same kind of compensatory kinds of behaviors um, uh, following binge eating. The, um, the strongest evidence that there are genetic factors are that eating disorders tend to run in families. So for example, if you have anorexia or bulimia, you have a higher chance that you're going to have anorexia or bulimia in some family member. Um, and you know, that could be learned, that could be genes, it's, and there's ways to disentangle that by looking at twin studies to see how much might be shared environment, how much might actually be genes. The studies over and over again tend to show that genes are more powerful than environment if you look at, uh, at, at twins. Uh, so this is really the strongest evidence that there's a heritability. However, as with other behavioral disorders, it's been difficult to actually find the responsible genes just because we're finding that genetics is a lot is very complicated in terms of how many genes might be involved and how powerful the effect uh, each each of the genes might have somewhat of a uh, less powerful effect it's, it's the combination of these genes that really uh, is responsible uh, we're, we're doing a couple of things at UCSD um, um, in terms of developing treatments, there's one thing that's very important is to use what we call evidence-based treatment. That is that if we use a treatment, we want to see if there's actually some data that says, yeah, this is really an efficacious treatment if done in this prescribed kind of manner. And so then if you want to do it in a prescribed kind of manner, you have to make sure that your staff and faculty is trained uh, to a certain degree of proficiency to be able to carry out that treatment. So part of what we do is just take the knowledge that exists out there and actually try and use it to, to high standards. So one of the treatments that we use is what we call family-based or Mosley treatment, which has been shown to be more effective for adolescents with anorexia. The other thing that we're very uh, interested in is we're learning more about why people have eating disorders and the biology uh, that leads to certain temperaments that make people susceptible to developing eating disorders. We're, we're using that knowledge to actually devise more effective approaches based on the temperament that, that people have. Uh, so not every, you know, people have different kinds of temperament. For example, one of the things that we see about people with anorexia is they're not very sensitive to reward, but they're oversensitive to criticism and punishment. And so it's hard to use something that's rewarding to get, keep them eating and gaining weight and maintaining that weight. And of course, you don't want to punish people to do that, but by understanding that this is kind of the confound that we have, we're trying to develop better kinds of approaches so that we can get the message home and motivate people with anorexia to eat and gain weight in a way that they can learn and understand it.
<laughs> uh, that, that would be a great idea. <laughs> Never thought of that. I know we, we don't do, uh, have something like that, although it's a great idea. Um, uh, but you're certainly invited to come and, uh, and, and see the program. We have a lot of information on our website about, about the program. Kind of an old-fashioned way, though. <laughs>